safe, clinical, fair week. Fortunately, we at Double the Fist have decided to give the Fairy Floss world of sport a little extreme makeover. So let's go see just how pretty sport can be. Let's go. All right, gentlemen. What we have here today is a fistathlon, which means you will compete in eight events. Each time you win an event, you will receive 1,000 points. The person with the most points at the end of the day will receive the full fist and be declared the ultimate natural sports man or woman on the face of the planet. You will also receive the absolute honour of ascending Mount Fistus. Are there any questions? Then let's do it. Right, gentlemen, first event is simple. You have to get your ball into the hole in the least amount of shots. The 14th is a par four. It is 298 meters, which makes it possible to hit the green. The rough is very thick and travels up both sides of the wide fairway. The danger zone is this set of bunkers. Now, as we all know, golf is an extremely weak sport. That's why we've got a very special guest hidden somewhere on the course. Panda weighs in at 100 kilograms which makes her about the size of a big man. Now she can't move very fast, but it's extremely good eyesight. The danger zone is this police issue Austrian built Glock. Panda will shoot to kill, but not until you leave the tee. You have five minutes to prepare. Mephisto, you're up first, followed by Rod, then Womp. All right, let's do it. Shouldn't you be practicing? Shh, I'm listening. What are you listening to, Mephisto? Exactly. Okay, Mephisto, what's the game plan? Okay, Steve, golf is a journey. Journeys have motorways. Motorways have toll booths. And toll booths need toll collectors. <laughs> I'm the toll collector, Steve. Well, it appears that Mephisto has gone on the offensive. He's left his clubs at the tee and gone after Panda. All right, Rod, what's the plan? OK, Steve. Now, as you know, I'm a 12 handicap. That makes me almost A grade, right? So my plan is this. One shot onto the green. I could get a hole in one. Doesn't always come off. Run it full rod down the fairway. Putt, sit back and relax. Oh, that's incredible, Rod. Let's see it, eh? OK, move back, Steve, because this baby is going to fly. Womp. 
How you feeling? Oh yeah, pretty good. All right now, Womp, do you have much experience with golf? Nah, I'm not so good at golf, Steve. Oh, don't worry, Womp, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, why don't you tee off? He's taken a cheap shot at Rod. As you can see, Rod hasn't actually been hit, but has gone to ground because he's scared stiff. It seems that Rod has lost his cool. Could this be his undoing? Rod may have made it, but he needs to concentrate now if he's going to sink this putt. Concentrate, Rod. <laughs> Ooh, bad luck, Rod. It looks as though it's down to Mephisto and the Womp. Zero points for Rod, zero for Womp, and Mephisto unfortunately doesn't get any points in that last round because he placed the ball in the hole instead of putting it. Ski shooting. Any moron can do it. They just throw these little pink things up in the air and someone shoots it. The angle they're fired at only varies by about 10%, which means with a little bit of practice, it becomes dead easy. However, there are a couple of ways to double the fist on this extremely weak event. One, you can vary the angle of the clay pigeon. Two, you can shoot at a target that can shoot you back. Or, you can do what Mephisto here is about to try. Mephisto, are you ready? I was ready before you started your monologue, Steve. Okay, now Mephisto, this event, apart from being entirely fist worthy, it's also worth 1,000 valuable points, which you need right now. I'm not thinking about the points, Steve. I'm just focused on destroying that pitch. Right, good luck, Peter. Well, Mephisto is going to be very disappointed with that effort. Let's check out the scoreboard. 
Well, after round two, the scoreboard still reads a very disappointing 0 0 0. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from today's other events. In the fire sprint, no points for anyone, with most competitors being either blown up or seriously burned. In the panda rally, Rod picks up a thousand points and doubles it in the breaststroke. Wonk picks up a thousand points in the smorgasbord event, eating a whopping 17 courses and nothing but headaches in the bowling event. So at the end of seven rounds, this is what the scoreboard looks like. Rod, blasting ahead of the pack on 2000. Wonk seems happy enough on only a thousand, but Mephisto is crawling into his hanky on zero points. A lot of people don't like advertising. They say, mm, it's designed to make you think and feel what a huge corporation wants you to. Well, wise up, idiots. That's exactly what school does. No one complains about that. If you don't like an ad, just don't support the company. If you really despise an ad, then do everything within your power to see that they fail in the marketplace. For instance, I really hate those road safety commercials. But you don't see me complaining to the tribunal. I'm out here doing something about it. <laughs> come on! Master! Master! Come on! Come on! Let's have you! Master! Come on! One less car. Alright boys, welcome to today's final event, the steeplechase. Now you'll be racing against each other, as well as the ultimate competitor, yourself. The race looks like this. First up, a 50 metre sprint across a busy highway, over the electric fence, then traverse the space-time vortex. Once you've done that, you go through the fountain and down to Circular Quay to catch a ferry. Once you arrive at Manly, you have to crawl on your hands and knees like a dog through the sewer. Once you've done that, it's time for your final dash through Trap Canyon. Now the winner will receive 100,000 points, making him the overall winner for the day, as well as the ultimate natural sports man or woman on the face of the planet. Gentlemen, take your places. G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Steve Fox in the commentary box and what a beautiful day for a steeplechase and here's Panda, he's going to start the competitors, they're all lined up and ready to go and they're off and oh, whoop, he's been taken out by a truck. Now Rod and Mephisto have crossed the busy highway and here's Mephisto, good move by Mephisto dodging that truck. Stupid move by Rod, jumping straight onto the fence. He's shaking up there and Mephisto, oh, I wouldn't have done that if I was Mephisto because Rod is getting very hot there. It looks like Mephisto has pulled gloves out of absolutely nowhere and he's climbing all over Rod. Mephisto is over and Rod, he's a little bit confused. I don't think he knows what he's gonna do now. And his Womp, Womp doesn't know exactly where he is, but I can tell you, I think he's about 500 metres away from the entrance to the electric fence. All right now, Mephisto has found the time-space vortex. Let's take a look at that. Yes, there are only a few of these left in Australia. They've been mostly covered up, and he's thrown a glove in to test it. And Mephisto, he's thrown a second glove in. I'm not so sure why he's doing this, but he's very happy with himself nevertheless. And here's Womp. Womp is about 100 metres away from the entrance to the electric fence. Back with Mephisto. Now, this is absolutely insane from Mephisto. He's going to lose his lead if he just keeps throwing things in. Here we are at the electric fence, and Rod, brilliant move here. He's found himself an inner tube, and I think he's going to use... Yes, let's take a look at this. Big bounce there from Rod. He's used the inner tube to jump over the electric fence and he's out of there. Mephisto has finally decided to jump over the vortex and stop throwing things in. Okay, here's Womp now. Oh, yes, he's lost. He's somewhere near the electric fence, but we're not too sure where. This is Rod. Young Rod. Look at the speed on Rod. Absolute agility there from Young Rod Fox and over the vortex. Okay. Mephisto is first to reach the fountain. Now when he gets here, he needs to find $4.20 in change so he can get a ferry to the next location. All right, here he comes. Let's see how he's going. 
Mephisto! Mephisto! Okay, Mephisto, you're coming first. What's the game plan? Get up, Steve! All right, let's go check out the Womp. Okay, here's Womp, the powerful athlete that he is. He's found the entrance to the electric fence. Good move by Womp, he tests the fence before he jumps. Hang on, what was that? I think I just see, yes, it's Mephisto's glove. You may remember Mephisto before throwing the glove into the vortex and Womp, he's got the inner tube, he's got the glove, and he's going over. This is tube, glove! Ooh, be hit there by Womp. He'll be a little shaken after that, but good use of rubber products nevertheless. Let's go to the fountain. Okay, well, it looks like Rod is at the fountain. Meanwhile, Mephisto... <laughs> right. Okay, now, Rod, you realise you're going to have to get in the water, don't you? I'm not getting in the water, Steve. The water will slow me down like hell. I've got to catch my fist up. Pinpoint accuracy, that's all I need. Look at that, Steve. Two bucks, two bucks. I'm not even wet. Get out of my way. Okay, here we are at the vortex now. Womp taking his time with the ledge. He's pretty slow with the ledges, the old Womp. A lot of people wonder why he's on the show when he's so slow with chairs, ledges, stairs. But I'll tell you what, Womp has got a big heart and powerful legs and he can take a cannonball in the gut like no one else I've seen. Here he goes with the swing. Oh, he's falling off. Who knows where that's gonna take him. Okay, well, it looks like Rod has found the last of the coins. Yes, he's off. And okay, Mephisto, you're running the wrong way. What's going on? Look at this! Look at this! I got I got coins from New Zealand, America, Fiji. If anyone out there has ever thrown foreign currency into an indigenous fountain, you won't get good luck. I hope you die! I hope you get bowel cancer, you hear me? Good. Back at the Vortex, and I think that this is a replay. No, I'm being informed that this is live. Womp is at the Vortex for the second time, and he's about to swing. Oh, and he's falling in again, and hang on, again, and again, and again. Okay, well, it appears that the Womp is traveling five minutes backwards in time to see himself fall off the electric fence. Now, effectively, Womp is multiplying himself, and currently there are one, two, three, four Womps in the race. That's four mighty Womps in the race. No, hang on, that's five Womps in the I'm not too sure of the legalities of this, but I'll tell you what, it's full-fisted as far as I'm concerned. Here's Rod leading the pack, he's at the wharf, he's got his ticket, he's off. Now you can tell Rod is an extreme sports star just when he runs around amongst normal everyday people. They look at him as if he's the one. Now this is bad news for Rod, he's got about half an hour to wait before he's buried. He could get dangerously cold. And here we are back at the vortex and it looks like one of the womps, I assume that this is the Amiga womp, he's put a plank down and what an intelligent being the Womps are. Over they go, taking our fourth, fifth, sixth, and 17th position. Go you champion Womp team. Now, M Mephisto, oh, he's not gonna play the lighting up game, straight to the counter. Okay, Womp, how you going? Oh, pretty good, but I need another 180 bucks to get these guys on the hey, ferry. Steve, I got a 1973 two cent piece. What's that hey, worth? What are you doing? Get back in the water. Here they we are, back at the gates. It's neck and neck, Rod and Mephisto, man on man. And here's another man to open the gates. This is going to be action. And they're out. Don't these pensioners just love their day out today? OK, back at the time vortex, and one of the Womps is doing something very strange. He's throwing coins into the vortex. Oh, this is very clever tactic by the Womps. They're throwing in coin cells to double their money every time they do so. Back to the boat now. I think we're going to see some painted Rod Fox cross training techniques here. Let's take a look. Hi there. Hi. How are you going? Beautiful ferry ride, huh? What was your name, sir? Confidence start by Rod. He's in with a hand. Sports racing mother, I'm coming first. Cool. And uh, is this your, uh, is your brother? Mate, why don't you just f off here? No chance. Ooh, slam! That's very harsh. The boyfriend has hammer-slammed Rod. Get 
Rod doesn't take it well. Ooh, that's a clever play by the Womps, buying a ticket on the express ferry. And there's Mephisto, he looks anxious because, yes, 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 here come the Womps up the side. Well, with all our contestants out at sea, I can't think of a better time to have Letter of the Week. <laughs> G'day. Now, this week's letter comes from the Mayor of Canangra Council, the Honourable Philip Nugent. It reads, Dear ABC, I was recently confronted by a group no, of men who were filming no, outside my office. I asked them to stop filming, but they did not. I then saw this incident as a part of a program which you screened last week. The host was slandering both me and the entire region of Canangra, blah, 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 winch, winch, winch. You see, Philip Nugent and some of the other morons in Canangra decided that we're not good enough to film in their pathetic hole of a town. So they called the police. Well, Philip, if you do not have the decency to write to me directly, then I will be forced to continue with my justified abuse of your pathetic town. I just hope that the rest of Australia has the good decency to avoid your puke hole part of the world and that the people who live there are completely and utterly ashamed of you. Philip, you make me sick! And we're back. Rod waits over a pensioner. He's really going to need to run now because Mephisto... Mephisto's on the wrong side of the boat. What's going on? Oh my... Mephisto has leapt into the water, doubling the fist all the way there. The Womps, they've just pulled in. They'll be running any minute now. Rod's running like there's no tomorrow and Mephisto's swimming in a... In a he's a fantastic swimmer. Big leap there from Rod. Here's Mephisto on the beach. Doesn't he look nice? And Rod's running like... This is very tight. Neck on neck, Rod jumps into the sewer. And there's Mephisto. He's only about 10 metres behind. Mephisto's running up. He's very close. Coming into shot now. There's Mephisto. Rod, look out for that big zip. Oh, he's off. He's sliding down. Mephisto, he's also sliding. This is a battle of the slides. Now, I must remind everyone that these competitors can't see anything down there. It's pitch black. Here's the Womps, not very far behind. This is Fizz Teamwork. Here you go. Ice cream. Ice cream, guys! Go! Ice cream is in the tunnel! Get in there! Now! Rod, dripping wet, closely followed by Mephisto. Look at that brown sludge on Mephisto's back. We're in the labyrinth, and I tell you what, there are no puppets in this one, just pure fist. It's a trap! Let me just remind everyone at home that this is one of the deadliest trap canyons in the Southern Hemisphere. Here's Mephisto stepping up to the plate first. Oh, and he's fallen into a bottomless pit. And here are the Womps. They're negotiating the labyrinth. Look at the ass on that one. Now, Rod, he's up. He's going to take on the canyon. It's already claimed one victim. Rod jumps. He dodges. He dodges again. He ducks. Rod, what an extreme angle. He could just make it. Vanity. Oh, well, he's taken Rod out. He's not going to be happy with that. Here come the Womps, one by one. Now, we have to say goodbye to our Adelaide viewers because you're off to the news. Oh, oh, this is a slaughter. This is a, this is horror. Horror inside the canyon, a massacre. The Womps are, hang on, it looks like one of the Womps has made it all the way through. Yes, oh. Womp has made it to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Womp. You have won the steeplechase. You've earned yourself 100,000 points, which makes you today's winner. Womp, how do you feel? Oh, really good. Look, I'd just like to thank Mephisto and Rod for being <laughs> such good sports. Womp, Womp, Womp. You don't thank the losers. You are the ultimate sports man or woman on the face of the planet. All right, Womp. It's time for you to take your prize. It's time for you to ascend Mount Fistus. Are you ready, Womp? Yeah, Womp, are you ready? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> ascend it, Womp! Ascend it! <laughs>